Lacrosse All-Stars is pleased to present an all-access pass to the Cleveland State men's lacrosse program in its first year of existence. In episode one, we take a look at practice leading up to the team's first ever home game. Where are you from originally? Uh, Wilmington, North Carolina. You've been all over. Down south, yeah. That's cool, man. I, I may go wherever lacrosse takes me, yeah, to be honest. That's great. Went to Maryland, never been to Maryland, five hours away from home. Then, I mean, just a chance to come here, like nine hours away from home, I loved it, so. Yeah. Can't well, knock you, it. Your parents must uh, encourage this? Yeah, yeah, I mean, they want me to like live the life that they yeah. never lived. You know, cool. I grew up with um, only my mom, I never met my dad, so. Okay, cool. Mom, just being raised by my mom, grandma, just women, mm -hmm. uh, they, they wow. encouraged me just to live my life and not have any regrets, so. Cool, dude. That's so cool. Wow. Yeah, for sure. I'd rather do this and know than like not do it and not know. Do you ever miss home? Yeah, a lot. But I mean, I, I would think after two years being in Maryland, I would be used to it, still not used to it. Yeah. <laughs> my baby. Dude, I actually like those new ovens. You said what? I like them. I haven't worn one yet. Dude, they're nice. You don't, I'll, you, don't I'll even, trust them out today. you don't even notice that they're on. Really? Yeah. Which one? The new elbows that we do. Oh, okay. I've actually never been to Cleveland before I visited here, so like I was always kind of a Cincinnati guy. We'd go south, so I never really thought about Cleveland that much. Besides like the Browns, they suck. The Cavs used to suck, so that was my only like knowledge of Cleveland. It's definitely changed since I've been here. And on my visit, Coach Sheridan said that uh, he had three more visits lined up that week with kids from like California, Seattle, and Colorado. I think I knew he was exploring the West Coast, and it's definitely cool having people from all over the nation. When I heard Cleveland State had a lacrosse team, I, I kind of, I don't know if I had like, in the back of my mind, I was like, all right, this is a possibility. And I played against Coach Durbin in high school when he coached my rival high school. And then he got the job here and I jumped right on it. Cleveland is like no other city I've seen. But here I feel like everything's like super close. And um, I don't know, it's it's definitely an urban environment, but it's not the same. And it's, it's not the same in a good way. So, like you said, everybody's nice. Everybody's like the first thing I said when I got here, when we moved in, I was like, everybody, this is the nice, these are the nicest people ever. Like, literally five people like said hi to me when I'm walking down the street, like getting food. And I was like, dude, dude. <laughs> so back up with Gideon said, I mean, there's the people that are here are here, um, and we're seeing them all the time, and I recognize faces of people that I don't even know the name, but I still recognize their face every single day that I see them, you know what I mean? So, I mean, I think overall the social aspect of it is great. I mean, obviously for new guys, freshmen, we're kind of feeling it out, and I think a lot of people are, were kind of intrigued by us to begin with. Some of the other, like, athletic teams were... Like I said, intrigued about what we were going to do, how we were going to come in, how we compose ourselves, kind of stuff like that. And I think we've came in and we've kind of taken everything by the wheel and kind of been shown that we're a good group of guys and ready to put in some work this, this season. Maybe we can get some great looks. But you free-flowing, we're going to lose 
right? So at some we learn to value all. So any questions on it, right? All six guys get a touch, we call out a play, we give the play a shot, right? And, and I'm not micromanaging you guys to the point where you have to be, no. When you get 23 or 45 say, when we run ocean, you guys are being lacrosse players. You're making plays, right? But there's some sort of organization to the way we're attacking the defense. This, what we just did for 10 minutes, that's losing the cross. That's going to lose us every single game that we play. I don't care if it's Duke or it's Walsh College. Right? We have got to be better. We have got to value the ball. This game is a game of possession. Can they score when we have it? Flat out, period. Can't do it. Right? So when we have it, we have to be smart. We have to be smart. All right, guys, we're going to go half field here. We need one, 22, 7, 26, 4, 27. Practice is definitely a big transition for me because how fast they want you to play in practice, it, it's not like that like at, at the JUCO level. Um, so coming here, like I was literally on the same level as the freshman, just trying to go above and beyond, like trying to be that leader role and then trying to like lead guys and still like learn at the same time. How is it today? Good. It felt so much better than earlier. Keep it closer, right? Yeah. Like, I couldn't think of a better coaching staff. It's just awesome being, like, kind of being with these guys because, I mean, they're hard on us and, and they and they need to be because we need, we're all freshmen and we need to kind of have that instilled in us, that kind of work ethic and the leadership and all that stuff. But to have them at, at the same time, like, be our friends is, is really awesome. Hey, all right, guys, hey, it's 5.15. Right, it's 5.15. I would like to be doing the scout at 545. Right? Get back there, get situated, make sure the locker room's clean when we get there. We'll hand the scouts out and we'll go through it. Right? When the helmet decals in, we'll decal them up. Right? Hey, Tyler, Jack, Drake, you got your coach and word for the day. Right? Let's get this thing going. Search yourself, get yourself physically, mentally ready for tomorrow. It's a long day tomorrow. And you can sleep in, which you can get to breakfast. Next time on Vikes, go behind the scenes with the coaches into the locker room to give the pregame scouting report before the team takes on Michigan in its first ever home game. Ridiculous. Kai. Tied it up with 12 seconds left. That was absolutely ridiculous. He went backhand. They triple team the ball. Couldn't get it on the ground. Wow. Great, Great first game. Damn. Damn. Uh, <laughs> unreal. We're going to go to OT. Wow. First game of the season. I didn't see the goal. I was watching something else. You probably rewind on YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> My goodness sake. 
Anthony there you go. Davis with his first goal of the game, and it is the game winner in overtime. <clears throat> Vermont controlled virtually the entire game. <laughs>